Good afternoon, my name is Lady and I'm the owner of the Bilingual Learning Center in the city of Bangor, California. I do childcare for the past 10 years and I also do educational videos for providers who want to grow and improve their business. If you like this kind of stuff, this is the right channel for you. And today I will be talking about all the planning that I do for my preschool program for the month of March. So now let's begin with the presentation. So by now you should be able to see my my screen. I will be sharing. So it might take a second, but sometimes five seconds. It's super quick, but still there is a delay. So okay. I believe you're ready now, so we can begin. They might take, take a few seconds. Okay, so now today I'm gonna focus on the March newsletter. I will show you how mine looks. I will give you all the details what contains my newsletter. I will also talk about my calendar. I will talk about the curriculum that I will use, the books, and many activities. But before I start, I want to ask you a huge favor. If you want to see another video about my planning for April, give this video a like. So that gives me an idea. If you like this month, for sure, you're going to like the next month. And if you want to see every month a new one, just like this video. I also invite you to subscribe in my channel. So when you subscribe, now you are part of the family and you get notifications when I have a sale or when I do something special. So let's begin. What is a newsletter? A lot of people ask me, why do I need to give a newsletter to a parent? Every provider needs to have a monthly newsletter. One that is going to let the clients know about your whole program. You want always to know, to let them know what you're doing, why you are doing this, how is your organization, what is your routine? You want to explain that to your client, so your client knows that you are not wasting time, so you are providing a high quality of service. And the best way to show them is using a calendar, using the newsletter. So I mess it up here and I put the newsletter by the calendar by mistake, but here it should be in the newsletter. In the next one, you guys are going to be able to see. But you guys can see in the newsletter or your calendar always shows all your events, your um, or whatever is coming up. And you want always to display that so that parents can see. Now, this is how it looks mine, how it looks outside. And this is my new bulletin. We changed the borders and now also includes the month. And here is the calendar and here the newsletter. So every day our parents become the sign in and sign out, they are able to check and see what's going to be tomorrow. So that really helps them because it's so close to them that we are going to be able to see it. So you don't have to be reminding them what's happening next. Now, this is how it looks, um, my table. We had to separate a lot of our toys and we include only toys that, that relate with our team. In this case, we are learning about rainbow, so we brought all the toys that identifies with the rainbow. Good thing that we were so lucky that we have many toys that have many colors, so I didn't have to buy anything. The only thing I bought is this new book, and it's a beautiful book that you guys can bring literacy to the kids, and that really helped me because after reading a book, I'm able to do the activity related to the book. Now, let's go to the next slide. The word is a rainbow is the new topic or the new theme of this month. So every month I have something new, and I'm so excited to show you. This is our new 2022 calendar. This is a new look. 
So if you guys don't have this one yet, right now is a teacher pay teacher sample. You can go and buy it. Um, so you just need to print it. And the good thing is everything is editable. Every text that you see, you can all you can put your own information, or you can just um, get some ideas from me, and you can also put it there. That's why I make these videos mainly for all those people who already purchased, and there are hundreds of them. So every month they have an idea what to put. So the first. Um, Let's talk about the first week. As you guys can see, we're going to be celebrating Dr. Sue's birthday. Dr. Sue's birthday was on March uh, 2nd, which was yesterday. And this is what we did. We had a party. It was so much fun. Um, and uh, at the end of the day, we ate cupcakes. And it was kind of like a party for Dr. Sue's. But we enjoyed the party. So now the next one, this is some of the activities that we did with the kids. We read different books, and we're going to be reading these books this week and next week. Everything about the courses, all the books. And as you guys know, I thought I had all the collection. You know, I was wrong. Our doctor wrote 58, sorry, 52 books. And these are just some of them. So this is my collection, and every time I, I write, like I read the book after the class, I ask the kids to kind of like um, express and get inspired through the book. And we talk about like all the, the we did the counting of the apples and this is what one of our kids, he did himself and he had 10 apples on top of him. And then yesterday also we read the book called Are You My Mother? I'm sure many of you guys have read the book. It's one of my favorite books. And this child felt so happy and she wanted to express how she feels and this is the drawing. Now here, also we were talking about thing one and thing two, and we did a messy activity where the kids are able to use paint and get messy. And uh, thing one needed some hair, so this was her expression. Now in the next one, during the Dr. Patrick's Day, as you guys can see here, we are having a Patrick Day celebration on the 17th of March. It's almost here, so I wanted to show you about all the ideas and all the things that I will be doing with the kids. Right now, my kids, when I did my last assessment, I noticed that they were not getting the size, the medium size. They only knew what's small and what's large. So I wanted to bring this activity because this is something that they really need to know and they need to identify the different shape, or the different size in this case. So these um, worksheets are in our curriculum called The World is a Rainbow. And what I do with them for me to last me longer, I laminate them every time. And then I cut them individually like this. And here you guys can see how they look. They are different sizes. And now the kids, I put uh, like three baskets and they are able to assort them by size. And now if you ask one of them what the different sizes, they are going to know more about the, size, the medium size. We also have in this package a memory game, and this comes in two uh, pages. So I also laminate them, and I cut it, and now the kids are able to play. And it was a little bit challenging, but then the kids were kind of like saying, I want to play more. They really like it, they wanted the, the challenge, and it was fun to be able to see them that they were ready to, to start playing this game. I also love doing sensory tables. So this year we had two different um, options. We have, I went to La Vallarta and I bought like, uh, it's about three pounds and a half of black beans. And we were able to put different other items that is going to pop different colors so it won't blend. 
And then here is just you dye um, rice. And then now, because my, many of my kids right now are struggling to identify the, the numbers. So I wanted to create a activity that is gonna help them to play with numbers. So we have coins and on top we have the numbers. So you can ask the kids with one card, like I need one coin. So this is what it is gonna be doing. So it's a little bit of money with numbers, a little bit of math, and at the same time in sensory, so the kids are able to use the devices with this kind of activity. Except they cannot eat it. <laughs> so let's say only four senses in this case. And then you can also, um, with this kind of activity, you can go outside, you can take this, not only inside, you can also bring your whole classroom outside and have like a number cabinet. You can uh, hide all these numbers in different areas and ask the kids to go and find it. They are able to recognize, they are able to see. So it's, it's a lot of fun. And all this one already comes in the same way. So now also here it says in March is a perfect time to learn about rainbows. So in March, we are gonna be doing different activities about rainbows. We are also doing a science experiment with that is related to rainbows. And this is some of the activities. We are gonna be using a lot of cotton balls and construction paper. So you can get all this at the Dollar Tree, same thing with the paper plates. And it's a very inexpensive way to do activities that you don't have to be spending a lot of money. Now the next one, here it says, our dramatic area will be turned into a recycling store. So during the time, what we're going to do is we are right now changing our habits. We need to start with I think we need to start reduce, reuse, and recycle. That's what we want to do right now. And that's what we are doing. So we are bringing these good habits and we are trying to be the, the example for our children. So we are going to start with our program. And then at the same time, our parents are participated, participating by bringing us something that they want to be recycle at home. So they can bring to us so we can put that in our dramatic place. Uh, one example is a box of cereal. For sure, there's a lot of people who eat cereal and they don't know what to do with the boxes. So now we are collecting them. And that is also a good way to let the parents know that they are part of this program and they can participate. Because there are many parents who really like parts. Now, let's go to the next one. Here says, in our science area, we will be learning about turtles. So I'm super excited about it because this is the first time I will learn about turtles. We already have uh, a turtle. And when I was a child, I had many. But I didn't, I never did the research. So this is a good time for me. We learned something new and I'm so excited about uh, the turtles. And what I did is I bought this book. It was only like $4.99 at Amazon. I also got this turtle comic, uh, collection and I am so excited it should arrive tonight so I can set up a sensory water table. That's what I'm going to do with all these turtles. The kids are going to love it. Knowing them, they're going to be so happy. Okay, so now let's talk about the curriculum for this month. As you guys know, every month I focus on three letters and three numbers, one shape, one color. So this month is going to be letter P, letter U, and letter D. And here, this is mainly for kids three or four years old. This is mainly for little kids. We also include the posters, and this is for more advanced. I have kids who are already more than five, so this would be perfect for them, a little bit more challenging, because those kids are so ready to go to kindergarten, but because of the age, sometimes they can't go yet. So 
So this is the activity for just samples of some of them that what includes about number, uh, letters. Now let's talk about numbers. This month, the number is going to be 19, 20, and 21. And this is how it looks, the posters and the worksheets. So we have worksheets for each of them, for each number. Now let's continue. Also, the shape of the month, this time is going to be the clover. The color of the month, these are two different activities that the kids are going to be doing. These signs about all the painting that we are going to do with the kids, as you guys saw in the last picture, like three, three slides earlier. Uh, it was showing how we're going to be incorporating a lot of painting when we are doing um, our rainbow. Also, we are going to be using Fiji papers to create a rainbow. So this is just another example. Now, why is so important the calendar? The calendar will be able, is the key for you to build a good relationship. For sure, you already have a relationship, but letting the parent know how organized you are and how also busy are the working days in your program. As the parents, are, by seeing a calendar, they're gonna be able to see all the events, everything that you offer all your hard work. But if you don't post nothing, it's going to be for them hard to understand about it. Okay, now let's go to the next one. So as you guys know, every Thursday I have show and tell. Today was our show and tell and we will focus about the letter T. We talk about the turtles. We also ask each of our kids to bring a, a item that begins with letter T. So it was fun. Um, they were so proud to show their friends and talk about their items and describe. It was fun. Now, next week, we are having Wacky Day, Wacky Wednesday. So this is how our kids are going to come. Uh, it's going to be a fun day because we are able to pretend and be a wacky person and it's gonna be fun um especially because we don't know how they're gonna come so i'm gonna get a surprise every time i open the door and i see a new video then on the 10th we're gonna have show and tell and we are having a hat competition that day every child is gonna come with the hat and we uh and we're gonna be uh taking a group picture like this now on the 17th, as you guys know, this is St. Patrick's week, a whole week. And on this day, we're gonna be having a party. I got all these tabs um, from Oriental Trading and they come in dozens, so it was a good price. I just love it, look how today. Now, all this week, the, the fourth week of this month, we're going to be talking about a rainbow. So every day we are choosing, we name it a color. So Monday is going to be red, Thursday is going to be yellow, um, orange is going to be on Wednesday, and then blue on Thursday, and purple on the 25th. We're going to do different activities, and then outside, this is how, how it's going to look. This is carbs I bought a dozen from Amazon. And our kids had fun when we did this because they were able to use their hands and put it, um, hang them, each of them. And then we were going under. So it was super, super fun. And this is one of the pictures I got. We are also doing different activities with uh, this cereal. And we use also like Play-Doh. I believe it's Play-Doh that what we have on this day. The kids were not allowed to eat because at the end of this activity, we had a snack. So we gave them, uh, we had to wash their hands and then we set them a snack. So let's go to the next one. This is a few ideas about if you are doing the rainbow uh, theme, we use um, 
blocks, wood blocks. And what we advocate is to do to trace the blocks around. They have involved with this because it took them a good time to be able to trace each shape and then they have the colors and they were happy. Some of them they used also rulers. Here we play with pegs. I this is one of my favorite toys. So if you don't have this one, you must get it because it's gonna keep your kids interesting. Last, um, it's just a white long paper that I reuse it from my bulletin, my previous one, and then I just turn the page and we are now creating different rainbow. The kids had fun. We use tissue paper, different colors, and they did their own brain. Let's continue. Here's more ideas for you. I see with the page, but here he did different floors. Look at, look at him. And then we also use the rainbow uh, made of wood. This was the funnest thing because it's an open ended toy. And I love those kind of toys because it gives more imagination to the kids and it doesn't give them food. As you guys know, every Wednesday is messy day, and this is what we did for messy day. If you had fun, we use uh, clips and also we use a uh, pom pom. One of my favorite toys that I got, this is more to assort the colors. And we use these huge big buttons. And I got this one from Lecture Learning. It was like about 19.99. And it's a great toy. And I regret not buying a second set. So this is almost the end of the video today. We talk about the newsletter. We also talk about the calendar. Why it's so important. I also cover about the word is a rainbow curriculum. That is the curriculum that I'm gonna be. This one is, this is how it looks at the first page. So the whole month of March, I will be using this curriculum. This one includes 35 um, pages, includes all the letters, all the numbers, the shapes, different activities. And it also includes the posters, everything is there. And also for sale is already the 2021 calendar and the newsletter. This is the look, it's green. And the new design of the 2022 is like this. As you guys can see, the layout is different, but I'm very excited to show you this because um, it's something new and it's to me it looks more clean. The most important that is editable. Here you can put your own information. Now I wanted now to say if you guys really like this video, don't forget to like it, press the button that says like, also subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be having very soon three more giveaways, and I hope you guys are one of the winners. And if you like this video, share with another provider, share with another owner of the childcare or a preschool. This will give her more activities to do in the class. And last comment, if you guys like this or if you already do, I would like to know what you do. So in my videos, I always share what I do and now I would like to see what you do. I also wanted to show you there is a video called Daycare Tour. This video has everything that is like a tour from a childcare in the month of March. So you're gonna be able to see my decoration. You're gonna be able to see also the different centers that I have inside. I also recommend you to watch this video is how to make these bottles. And my kids, they love it. It really calms them down. The video is like about three minutes, it's, it's quick. Now, this video is long. So if, I hope you guys really like this video. And if you want to see another video for the month of April, let me know. Um, let me know in the comments below. What did you think about this video? What are you going to do in your program? What kind of planning do you have? Or did you like one of our activities? Let me know here below. 
So I know that something that I did today is helping you. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Hasta pronto.